Speech therapy in a nutshell would be taking a child who has difficulty communicating, being able to, to figure out where those precise holes are in their language or speech or social patterns are, and then be able to design specific treatments for those particular things, and then be able to do that treatment and be able to teach them those skills. The thing about autism is that what takes a typically developing child one or two or three times to learn can take our children with autism 10 to 15 times longer than that. And so speech therapy really comes into play in that because we're teaching very explicit skills. And so it's really hard as a parent at home, even though you may have the understanding of some parts of those, what your child, your child needs to be saying two words by the time they're two, you may have that understanding, but as a parent, do you have the time to be able to teach them that 30 to 50 times that a speech therapist can m more easily do in a controlled therapeutic environment? People believe that speech therapists, we mostly just work on articulation. We teach children how to say their R's or their different sounds. But speech language pathology is so much more than that. So um, we, we cover several different areas. We cover um, speech, of course, articulation. That also includes phonology, which are the rules that govern how speech sounds are put together. Um, we also cover language, which can be anything from our grammar to how we're organizing and we're organizing words and putting them together, like storytelling. Um, and then it can also speech language uh, therapy also includes social, um, social skills, how we interact with people. All of that is communication, and so speech therapy covers many many aspects. Speech therapy also uh, covers people who have had strokes, and also we're the swallowing experts. So speech therapy does an immense. It covers an immense amount of material, um, and so there's there is a lot that goes into that.